Hi right, guys, Rex here. We're just doing a, a video review on uh, Toasted O's for uh, the Zulu class. As you can see, we have the O shape here. Now that's uh, just looking at it from one dimension. That's if you're directly underneath, it's a circle, right? Now if you go to the side, it might have, to have a different shape. As you can see, the phosphorus is at 15. We got our magnesium and our zinc, which is very important for life, right guys? You remember that? Our Zulu, okay. So let's look at this box. Oh look, kids puzzles. I love kids puzzles. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, so um, find the top view to match every object. Y'all catch that? Zulu? <laughs> the rest of you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. It's okay. Um, maybe one day you'll get to attend to RX Zulu. Okay, so the rules. Find your way out of the maze from the middle. Okay. So we need to get out of this maze. Let's say this is the labyrinth. This is worse than the labyrinth. You got David Bowie in there and all his buddies and all this other weird stuff going on. You just want to get out of that deal. Conventional wisdom would have you actually go through these pathways and all these different little traps, right? And play the game. And that's kind of how the life is, I suppose. However... The key, sometimes, especially if you find a maze without a way out, this one does have a way out, but it's long and arduous and treacherous and hurts a lot. So, you guys remember Minkowski? Geometry. We got our y-axis here, x-axis here. What you need to think about is there's more dimensions than you realize. So let's draw another one here. Remember this? Hey, this is Minkowski's graph of non-uniform motion in two-space geometry, which is the opposite of the Euclidean geometry, inside-out geometry. Okay, what's this? What's this distance here? I'm curious about that. You guys remember? You can come out of these dimensions. We'll just say we'll simplify it for this exercise. These are two dimensions you're trapped in. Let's say you just come out Go over the top, and then go over here. Bam, done. Or how about this? We come out and we go over here, and we go to the big one, the real one. So you gotta think outside the box. Get it? If you don't, that's fine. Um. <laughs> Such great value some of these lessons are, I'll tell you what. So also take note that some of these mazes are not the good ones. This one happens to be next to this, which is a UPC code, which represents a whole different system. Very interesting. Uh, and there's find your way out of the maze from the middle. Okay. And uh, we hopped out of there. And what color is this? Here's the real food. That's where you really want to go. I've never taken a long range class before, but I can't imagine anybody delivering this much information in this short of a period. Yeah, it takes a while. After you've uh, 
been around a while, you, you kind of accumulate most of this information. Some of it falls by the wayside. Some of it you retain. At least you know it's there, and if you need to use it, you can pull on it. You cannot miss an opportunity to gain knowledge. You cannot. The guys that are going to talk here, there must be 250 years of experience wandering around in the people that you're going to be exposed to. And I'm talking like hard-earned experience. Rex is, of course, an absolute natural. He showed us over the years that so... I, I wasn't surprised to see him perform beautifully because he was born for it. He, he is naturally an awesome presenter. So whether he does it through YouTube and video camera or live, and by the way, congratulations, this is uh, beyond the full house. I, I really think some people snuck up on you, man. You got to double check on who pay and who didn't because I see uh, more than 80 people here. I see north of uh, 100 people. If you have not been studying long range for quite some time, I'm not saying not to come to this class. I'm saying you better put your helmet on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go fast. You can't get information like this going to happen in this class. You can't get that like anywhere. He's already well known and he'll get better and better and better. <laughs> but, but you're right, we have, we have a very strong concentration of people with this much interest and passion you know, in, in this one room. Uh, everybody's here looking for the best and trying to be the best, and it's... I love it. And that's the secret to success too, guys, is surrounding yourself with competent, intelligent, and passionate people. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that a lot in this room because everybody that gathers together here is because of a love for the sport or the craft and the skill and the art and the science. and you, Mr. Rex, you're kicking some butt up there today, man. You're in the zone. I'm getting sweatier and sweatier, Lou. Wait until four hours from now. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a little scared to get up there. I mean, Rex is such a great speaker in this forum, and I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm going to bore these guys to death. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing I like about these type of forums. When you get guys that admit to being interested in long-range shooting, you're past the guy who swears he can shoot a quarter-inch group with his factory uh, Savage with a factory ammo. So these guys, they're not at that point. They've gone past that. They're really serious now, and they really know a lot of this stuff. It's more about how much further can I, I push my where they've come with capabilities with more knowledge and more practice and more information. We're gonna, we'll have a good time. Uh, the students will have a good time. You're going to get a tremendous uh, level of information. And there are different levels of knowledge. And when I met Rex, he was really the first guy that I had met that had that kind of tier one level of knowledge. This won't be the last time that you guys do this. This is the best thing that we, I have seen or been associated with thus far in this this industry this is really good uh, I think that the guys have learned a lot about this on um, uh, relative to the topics and how to handle it at the next one that they do I expect that the next one will be better and better and better and I think that the guys that go to it are going to uh, benefit and learn a lot but you're going to see some amazing things if when this company as he builds this company in this curriculum and it goes i'm telling you it's, it's going to be a bookmark in american farms training history there like something is different over there what's going on and people will come from all over Hey folks, Blue McCoy with the Rex Reviews Project, and we are here in Texas. Holy crap, man. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. I'm here with Jesse and his lovely wife, and what, what do you guys have to say after the second day? So we get out here, the first thing we did was check out all of our guns and equipment. We want that solid. Um, we we uh, learn the fundamentals, make sure that everybody is doing things like correctly and properly, and that way when we don't when we start shooting out the longer distances, we don't uh, you know we don't have to wonder what what's all going on out there you know, and um, I think that's that's really cool because you feel a lot more confident knowing that you're you, you're solid, you got a solid foundation um, when you start engaging things way out there. So. And you I start off, great. yeah, man. And you start off really close, and you get all the bugs worked out, and then you work out farther, and it's no big deal. It's easy. Yeah, it's easy. So the system works, Mr. Rex. 
It works, my man. Just this experience was probably the best shooting experience I've ever had. It was the most I've ever learned, ever. So just getting to shoot out to 1,000, 1,100 yards, and these guys get you out there quick and do it the right way. But I think it's rolling down off of the snow, right? Now what? Nah. That's still barely a two. Single. <laughs> oh yeah? It's hot air. Nothing. Yeah, reticle choice and design, I've really learned to, mm -hmm. like, that's really important. And, you know, we always focus on all the other stuff, mm -hmm. you know, but reticle design, you know, is very critical. Uh, if you pay attention to those classes and, and watch those reviews, it'll all come together for you. And this is the place where it all comes together. Yeah, and you get out in the field and you get to apply all that knowledge and see it in action, and that's gratifying. Absolutely, and it's the real world uh, issues that uh, you have to that you're really learning here, as opposed to just the, you know, you get all that technical data, and then you bring it out here to the real world and you put it all together, and it works. The secret Rex taught me about butterfly kisses on the cheek. And it's was, actually that, true. It was true. Did it, it was, work? It totally worked. What? It totally was. It happened earlier today, and all day I've been just on. Uh, like I just said a minute ago, yesterday everybody showed up. They were nervous. They didn't yeah. know what to expect. And look at the crowd behind us now. It's like a party back there, man. People yeah. are just having the time of their lives and not only having a good time, but making some shots, too. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. impressive ones. They're learning what, what they come out here with. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, dot, the dot drills, a lot of the drills that Rex and, and uh, Paul are having us do, um, they really make you, you know, get you into shape and make you, you know, do exactly what you did the last time and be consecutive, you know. So I think that's, that's a, a just super way to start to, you know, start to do this stuff. So. Yeah, it is. And you lay that solid foundation and the rest is easy, man. Yeah, we're just now it's, it's not even really hard to shoot out there. We're shooting out at 1,100 yards. And... Uh, really not that big a deal now that we you know <laughs> now that we know what to do all right what just happened man i just hit right. a water bottle at 875 yards and you had it one shot one shot that's not bad so what's the secret man aim small miss small amen well done brother thank you as long as you pay attention and do what the instructors say it will all come together as an equation and the equal sign pops right up My name's edwin from boston Traveled out here to Pennsylvania to take the class to shoot past my home range of 600. Shot out to 1030, made some hits. Every time uh, Rex teaches you something new and gets you comfortable, he totally messes with you. Get you dirty, <laughs> get you muddy, makes you roll around in the rain and the mud and the dust. And then he takes your scope and he messes it all up and he just, he teaches us something new every time. So great time, good guys. Nice shooting there, Tex. Thanks man, second round hit on the gong and uh, first round hit on Fred. Um, thousand yard shot that was pretty awesome right. feels good for first of stage of the day doesn't it yeah it does yeah it does i wasn't uh, shooting very no. good yesterday but yeah, it's good to come back right. haven't shot past 400 yards until i came to rx 18 um right off the bat brought us right out to a thousand yards gave us some confidence and after working the range tables i see you know, why i couldn't hit any target that i knew the true range to and had to dope for all the way out to and including thousand yards you're exposing you know, all the different students, including myself, you know, to some different techniques, uh, pulling from different arenas, uh, whether it be from some application of competition, you know, PRS, NRL kind of things. Um, you, when we can't always take a prone shot, you know, shooting off of obstacles, mm -hmm. unstable positions. I came to the IRX just to learn everything. It's a great place to be, great people. Learned quite a bit. I got me dialed in at ranges I've never even looked at before. Um, I've been to RX 17001 seminar and 001 uh, shooting, and so I have some familiarity. Um, but uh, this is just a lot better. This is what I really enjoy. Um, the instruction is, is again top notch. We learn any problems we have, we immediately have someone diagnose the problem. It's because it's so relaxed, the environment, um, you're constantly learning and you don't even really realize it. I think it's just been an awesome experience and, and the knowledge is unbelievable. Hey, my name's Mitch. I just, uh, over here at the uh, Rex Live Fire event, learned a hell of a lot. Uh, I got my rifle zero for 100 yards yesterday and 
within a few hours I was hitting 1,030 yards. And I've never shot past 300 yards in my life. So it's definitely worth the money, definitely worth the trip, the hassle, everything about it's been great. Rex has been great, the crew's been great. Oh, this has been, this has been terrific. From my standpoint, we've seen things that we never expected to see. Let me see, we've got one guy, first time ever, at over a mile or whatever, and, and he's hitting 25, 80. I think everyone got to a mile, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, everyone got yeah. to a mile in the whole class and, relatively uh, easily. It's, it's, it's really been surprising, and that just shows how the... Uh, <laughs> It shows how the equipment and it shows how the, uh, the shooters have progressed learning and, and with the instruction and all. These guys have had good instruction and they've just got the job done. And how far were you shooting? It was one mile. One mile and yeah. what were you using here? 300 wind mag. 300 wind, wind mag. mag. But probably not. Watch out, Rex. Rex. So you just hit the 2,500 yard. Oh, like, what's your solution? <laughs> 116 and a half MOA elevation and 14 MOA windage. And you had four shots. Yes, sir. You got in your team? We, I had six, so 10 total to hit 2551. So uh, tell me the story. How'd you finally spot where you're hitting? I saw the trace. I saw his trace and I called it good, but he was about six inches off the top right corner of the plate. He made a minor correction. Uh, bottom left edge of the plate, and I, I saw the top of the bullet, but I lost it, but it was an impact. So, awesome shot.